Well, hello there. Happy Monday. Welcome back to our year of self-care. I hope you all had a good time last week exploring trusting yourself and really listening to your, um, your own heart as you went about making decisions, listening to yourself, your intuition, trusting your instincts. I am so glad to be here to continue our journey through our year of self-care. So let's go ahead and see what's in store for us this week. I'm super excited. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Okay, so let me just reach into our card deck and see uh oh y'all <laughs> what y'all gonna do this week with patience oh my goodness oh my goodness this is a tough one for me oh man when i get my mind set on something when i get into a moment i want it to happen now patience it's interesting this card has a lot of kind of snow wintry themes here like that sense of slowing down and stillness and freezing in a positive way of slowing down ah now here's a challenge be willing to pass up good for great now isn't that a beautiful take on patience that sometimes when we are rushing ahead in our impatience and wanting the thing to be happening right now, we end up settling. We end up just taking the thing that's right there. Whereas if we were able to kind of slow down and wait, maybe something better, something greater would emerge. Patience is a little tricky. I think that what's true for those of us who have experienced abuse is that oftentimes the nervous system is a bit stuck in our fight flight um, mode. And so that does cause us to kind of like, it's like your engine is always revving. There's always this like hum kind of energy and I got to do and I got to go and I got to be. And part of that also is by being in activation and quick, quickly moving around, we don't slow down. And so we get to avoid, maybe get to avoid facing something that feels scary to face or avoid feeling something that we're not quite sure that we have the capacity to feel. So patience is a layered experience. It has everything to do with maybe not just settling for the thing that's right now, but giving something some time to unfold. Maybe it has to do with slowing down and being still and letting go of some busyness this week. Maybe it has to do with being patient about your healing process and journey because I know myself and so many of my clients are like, okay, I just want to be at the end of this already, right? Is there a skip button? Is there a fast forward button? And healing takes the time that it takes. And sometimes that is just super, super frustrating. We don't want to be patient. I don't want to be patient. I want to stop my feet. I want to throw a tantrum. I want to get there now. I want this to be over with, right? So how can you be patient about the process that you're in of healing? How can you be patient with yourself? You know, when maybe you're struggling with something Maybe something's not happening as quickly as you want it to happen for yourself. Can you find some grace? Can you find some patience? Can we stop beating ourselves up? That has a lot to do with self-care, right? Trusting that things are going to unfold. There's something great on its way. If we can just wait, be still. Be kind to ourselves. Stay in the process. Don't give up. Keep going. Find the moments to just be quiet and to be still. Hmm. I think the last thing that I want to say about patience today is patience with other people. <laughs> Oh, do we ever get impatient with others sometimes? Like, come on already, hurry up, figure it out. 
Yeah. So maybe there's a person in your life that you've been feeling frustrated with, that you've not been giving much grace to. And maybe they need some of your patience. Maybe they need time to grow. Maybe they need time to heal, to become who they're becoming. Uh, or to figure something out or to learn something. Maybe there's a child in your life where you need to offer some patience and grace. Yeah. So lots and lots of opportunities this week. When you find yourself coming into a moment of impatience, take a breath, slow down. Remind yourself that there is time. There is time, I promise. And you can step back. You can be still for a moment. You can give yourself and you can give others grace. And in that, you cultivate the space for the great to arrive. All right, you all. As always, if there's anything I can do to be a support to you in your journey, I'm here. Reach out. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and until next time, take really good care of you. Bye now.